the city and suburban stakes will close day two. It's from Epsom. There's a famous old handicap. They used to have some good horses in it years ago. And the SO7 World, it's a 10 for a long water 80 handicap. And at the top, it's Ashkelani Leaf for James Shea. Him, Lizzie, Tom Rogers, Tacky 2, Memento, Rod McClure, Log Cabin, Martin Cairns, Street Girl, Obi Wan, Gia Denied, Ben Benici, Bunsen, Martin Cairns, Shaken Mirasol, James Shea, Steamboat, Sally Graham, Classable, Buckingham Beauty, Satyam, Francesca Kamani, Danny Hughes. I'm pretty sure that won the Oaks last season, so yesterday it must be a handicap snip. Ballerina Queen, Martin Leadham, Comet Diding, Satyam, and Take Me On, Obi Wan. So 14 this time then, and if that. My memory does serve me correctly, and that is Francesca Camani. Then that is a got to be a good pointer to that one. So away they go in, and they're racing away. And of course, it's Epsom as well, which is where the Oaks was run. So it'll be quite interesting. So it's Beckoning Beauty who's gone on into the lead then from Francesca Cabani in second with Bunsen in third and then Gia denied fourth Ballerina Queen is next and then Tacky Two Memento with Steamboat Sally and Street Girl Shake and Mirasol on Log Cabin but it's Beckoning Beauty who's setting the pace to the race and leads by a good three lengths to Francesca Cabani in second Bunsen's in third Gia denied is fourth then comes Tacky Two Memento and then Ballerina Queen another great we have a gap to Steamboat Sally and then that one's been racing on its own and there's a bit of group behind that who are headed by Ashkelani Leaf and Street Girl and they're racing past the six furlong pole now then and Beckoning Beauty is clear by about two and a half lengths to Bunsen in second and Francesca Camani third Tacky Two Memento is after that one and then comes Ballerina Queen Gia Denied is next and then Steamboat Sally Street Girl is after that one the two of these out the back I haven't really got anyone at all take me on another grey is right out the back but it's beckoning beauty in the lead from ballerina queen who's now gone second tacky two memento francesca Camani, bunsen steamboat sally and gd9 then comes hin lizzie trying to get anywhere as well but it's Beckoning Beauty in front, Ballerina Queen tucked in behind, then comes Tacky Two Memento, Steamboat Sally up the centre of the track, Francesca Camani beginning to get going, Bunsen is next, then comes GRD9, these are the leading group and it's still Beckoning Beauty in the lead with two and a half to go, but the greys are coming, Francesca Camani in the blue jacket, Ballerina Queen in the purple and white stripes, then comes Tacky Two Memento, Steamboat Sally's after that one, but Beckoning Beauty is still in the lead, it's Beckoning Beauty, for and a half to go, Beckoning Beauty, here comes Francesca Camani, swoops in the lead, then now and Francesca Camani's hit the front and is pulling clear and this could be an Epsom expert or a specialist course specialist but he's definitely racing up towards one taking this as comfortably as you was expecting a classic winner in a 0 to 80 takes it Francesca Camani wins it Panarina Queen second Ash Kalani leaves then Steamboat Sally Saki to Memento after that one and a pretty commanding performance by Francesca Camani back to her best but it just shows and with a few bad runs you can drop down a handicap and that one probably didn't win again after the Oaks last season and has been rewarded with a pretty easy win there so Francesca Camani for Dan Hughes wins that one it says it there comfortably and wouldn't you expect it to as well Ballerina Queen for Martin Leland was second Steamboat Sally for Graham Clutterbuck third Ash Kalani Lee for James Shea was fourth and Gia Denied for Ben Bonici was fifth